What does it take to be really good? It's Kim, and I'm fresh off of four days of volunteering at the 100th PGA Championship at Bell Reve Country Club here in St. Louis. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. How do these guys do this? 245 yards from the right side rough to the green and within six feet of the pin in one smooth hybrid shot off the crowd trampled four inch rough along the ropes. I saw that multiple times on my hole number four, which played out to be the second hardest hole on the whole course. Out of the sand and into the cup from 30 feet away. Miracle shot after miracle shot. It has been truly inspiring, especially to an old duffer like me. How do they do it? 35 years ago, I would watch the only real rally drivers we had in the U.S., John Buffum and Rod Millen, throw cars around corners on one-lane gravel roads just defying physics and easily dominating the sport. They would charge full throttle to within a few yards of a tight turn, steer away from the corner and flick the car back into the turn, spitting rocks and gravel in their wake. It was a violent ballet danced by passionate people. How do they do that when the rest of us mere mortals would just struggle? I remember answering that question quite matter-of-factly. The top dogs have simply seen more corners, more reps, more situations. They did this kind of thing all week long in between rallies, building and testing their cars, working on suspension setups and tire pressures and tread cuts. It's estimated pro golfers hit 25 to 40,000 golf balls a year. And most started when they were five. Think about that. Millions of ball strikes over a lifetime. True professionals have simply seen more turns or hit more golf balls than we mere mortals. That's what makes them really good, perhaps even the best. I marvel at guitar players, jugglers, soccer goalies, and gymnasts, all committed to being the best and doing the reps to accomplish that. Just realizing that behind every spectacular performance is a spirit dedicated to practicing ad nauseum to realize their dreams is inspiring to me. I'm good at a lot of things. I'm even real good at a few and so-so at a whole lot more. But this week at the 100th PGA Championship, my spotlight was on magic golfers. Amazing. Just amazing. Congratulations to the 2018 PGA champ, Brooke Kupka keeping a hard-charging Tiger Woods at bay through the final 18. It's been an exciting and fun week. Next time you're graced with witnessing a spectacular performance, no matter what the format, stop for a moment and think what that person has had to do to be that good, that magical. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.